Hey everyone, it's me, the one and only the Sparkle Girl, or aka Ken Sparkle. So, today I am going to, to, um, to talk about Strawberry Shortcake. Now, I know some of you may not have heard of it, and it's alright. And if you do have heard of Strawberry Shortcake, well, you bound to, to love it. Because I know some of you are fans of something. Yeah. And I understand it's someone who doesn't like strawberry shortcake and that's fine. But please remember, do not bash other, other people's opinion, okay? Thank you very much. So, I just, just like to be honest with you guys. I have watched strawberry shortcake sometimes as a kid. Let's just say, well, it's kind of, well, let's just say for nursery vibes, as in childhood, yeah, something like that. So anyway, I just like to say, I remember watching the 2003 TV show, or Strawberry Shortcake, where I used to be in this woman named Christine, who looks after kids and that, while parents go to work or something. Let's just say, I used to go to her house as a kid, something like that. And I used to watch Strawberry Shortcake 2003 show on Nick Jr. Something like that. I remember watching it very well. And besides, that's not the only thing I, I remember watching that show on Nick in Christine's house. I just say, I also remember watching Dora the Explorer. I might as well talk about that sometime very soon, I think. Because some of you may like Dora the Explorer like I do. So yeah. Some of you don't guys do. <laughs> so anyway, let's just focus on Strawberry Shortcake for now. So, it's been a long time since I've watched Strawberry Shortcake and I haven't been watching it since then. So, I'm starting to watch it again because yeah, it just brings so back too many memories about me being a kid, watching it on TV, on the Junior Channel. Yeah, and, and I know it's just, it's complicated because I have never watched Strawberry Shortcake, like, ever since. So yeah, like I said, I'm back on it, baby. <laughs> I know. Sorry about everyone. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys. So, 2003 show is okay to be fair, because I have watched it before. But I have to say, I kind of stick with the 2010 TV show. Because that's what I mostly watch as a kid until like right now. Because let's just say, 2003 is alright to be fair. It's just, I don't. Well, the thing is, the animation is. It's okay. But I just think 2010 is more girly. And let's just say it's sort of. You know. It just feel more strawberry shortcake. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Okay, and I know I'm sorry for saying it. If those who are, are a fan or liking the, the 2003 version of strawberry shortcake, but for me and some others, well, let's just say we prefer 2010 the most because let's just say I kind of like the animation. And I know some of you may not. I know some of you may I like. Um, you know, respect what I'm about to say, and if you guys don't, that's fine. Just, just remember, keep your negative opinion to yourself, please. I just say it because it's been a long time since since I watched Strawberry Shortcake, uh, and I don't think I ever played any toys or Strawberry Shortcake. I'm not sure if I did or not because it was a long time ago. So I was only a kid, so I barely remember. And if I did, I would have mentioned it. You know. Something like that. So so anyway, so like I said, can't remember. So yeah. Uh, okay, so so let's just say you guys know that I upload some strawberry shortcake videos sometimes on my channel and and some my other channel as well. Something like that. So yeah, and well the eighties of strawberry shortcake, I have to be honest, I may have not seen it yet. But I kind of think it's quite good. I might have to watch it at some point because it's the classic Strawberry Shortcake. Because it's it's nearly reminds me of the actual animation of Owl the Chipmunks back in the eighties. Because I believe it's the same animation who did Owl the Chipmunks, 
but different people, of course. But there are some some same people, of course. I'm just saying, and and yet, of course, I believe, and I bet you guys are not going to expect to hear this, but you guys know Rossi Tyler. You know the you know who did the voice of, of Minnie Mouse. Well, well, not anymore because she's passed away. So let's just say she did the voice of Strawberry Shortcake back in the 80s. And when I first signed down, I was like, whoa, can't believe it. Oh my, so surprised. So anyway, I just found it surprising, shocking, really. Yeah, tell me about it. I just, yeah, well, I don't know. Because when I heard the voice, I was like, well, it just sounds a bit like Minnie Mouse to me. Something like that. Yeah, tell me about it. Whew. And of course, I might as well watch the, all the episodes of the 80s sometime in the future because I just like the animation. It's so amazing. So like I said, with 2003, the animation is okay sometimes, but sometimes I'm just not really too keen on some of the, the you know, hairstyles, something like that. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that's just my opinion, so please respect that. Thank you. Um, having strawberry cats uh, called Custard talking? Oh, well, it is interesting to have a cat talk as a pet, but... I have to be honest, I kind of find it a little, um, hmm, but let's just say I got this sort of, like, neutral about it, as in I sometimes don't mind, and sometimes it's just a bit weird. Because so having a talking pet, <laughs> that would be weird. But I'm sorry for saying it, but that's just my opinion, so please respect that. And of course I have seen, well, only see bits of the film, you know, in, uh, What's it called? Strawberry Shortcake, the Sweet Dreams movie that came out back in 2006. Yeah, tell me about it. I think I do remember watching it sometimes before as a kid. So it's been a long time I have seen it. So I barely remember what it's about. So I might as well watch it again just so I can be able to, you know, whether if I want, if I want to, you know, make a review out of it. I don't know, but it's up to me really. So yeah, if I had to be honest, that you know the characters from 2003, um, where they're like all grown up and that, I kind of like their new style. It nearly reminds me about that that it's, it's going to happen with Miraculous Ladybug at any time soon. And I'm going to miss the old design of the, of the Miraculous characters, of course, because. Well, they probably still look the same, but probably different, you know, clothes or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but um, I doubt they will have, you know, same clothes. I don't know. We never know. But let's just focus on Strawberry Showcase. We're not here to talk about Miraculous. Woohoo. Okay, um. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, and there's a new one. Well,. Not the new one that, that you think I'm talking about here, but it's it's the same as 2010 one, but it's like shorts. I watched them before on YouTube, uh, and it's quite really good, to be fair. Yeah, and... Well, the characters still still the same as the, what they, they are from the actual 2010 show, but I think that the characters from the 2018 shorts, well, it's... Not the same, you know. That's just just my opinion. But I still like Strawberry Shortcake as a character. To be fair on, on this one, so no matter what, why I still like Strawberry Shortcake. And and I believe, and I'm not sure if some of you guys heard of this, but I believe back in 2017 that Strawberry Shake was supposed to have another ship. Back then, and, and and but it turns out got cancelled. But I don't know, don't know exactly why. I'm not sure whether it's, it's something to do with the one that we have now. You know, to 2021 TV show of Strawberry Shortcake, something like that. So yeah, I well, to be fair, 
as in to be honest with you guys, from my respective opinion, that the show is okay. And I do and I don't mind watching the show. Um well, there are a few things that, that I'm quite disappointed really, as some of you guys are. Um let's just say but I don't know what's going on, but the people who works on the new show, I mean, who wrote that? I mean they're ruining our childhood, they're ruining strawberry shortcake and as almost every counters. Oh my god. I mean like, you know, r r Raspberry Tour, whatever, something like that. Well, she's the villain in season one of that show. And I was like, what? What kind of big... Okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm over it. I was just saying because I just found it ridiculous. I mean, Raspberry's supposed to be a nice character. She's not supposed to be a villain. I mean... Give me a break. Oh boy, I'm telling you guys, this is something that I never expected in my life, and I bet you will feel the same way. Yeah, tell me about it. So yeah, um, well, to tell you, as in to tell the truth, the show is okay. But sometimes there are some few things I, I don't really like about it, because they ruin the characters. So yeah, but that doesn't stop me from watching it, because no matter how many people say it's a bad show, I can still watch it no matter what, because I'm a true Strawberry Shortcake fan, and I would never, you know, show any dislike towards Strawberry Shortcake, because she's my favourite, and of course as a franchise as well, and besides, I've loved Strawberry Shortcake ever since I was a kid. And besides, can I just be honest? She nearly reminds me of um, well, Phoebe and the and the flower tots. I used to watch that as a kid. <laughs> Tell me about it. And of course, you you guys heard of Alice Wonderland Bakery? Well, that nearly reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake herself. I mean, you probably have seen a picture that I draw for Strawberry Shortcake and Alice. Yeah, tell me about it. So anyway. So <sighs> wish her cake really inspired me to love cooking sometimes. But and of course she's not the only one. There are some other characters that do seem to inspire me a lot. So yeah, tell me about it everyone. So I just leave you guys to it and if you want to share your thoughts or whatsoever, but if you really want to ask me a the question or something, be free to do so, so don't hesitate. I'm no longer doing any requests on this channel because do you to you to just the some person who bored me because of it. So I will no longer um do suggestions. But it's I will only allow my friends to, to ask me if they want any video suggestion as a request. And I'm sorry for disappointing you guys, but as as long as you, you ask me nicely, I will do it. But it's complicated, so please don't call me you know what, but I'm just saying because I'm not comfortable pe with some people, you know, begging, 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 like, like, multiple times, so yeah. So anyway, I, I won't bore you guys or anything, I'll leave you guys to it. And I hope you have a, a great summer holiday, and I'll see you until September, I think. Yeah, bye everyone.